Hello, ladies, how are you? Kara Mendez here. I am the founder of this group, Expansive Flow, and I am your intuitive life and business coach. I'm also creator of the Back to Center program. So we've had a big change this week. <laughs> um, yeah, and if you're catching this on the replay, like let me know that you're here and that you watched. Um, I love hearing from you guys and knowing who's following along. Um, so I wanted to do this live for you all because I'm, I'm sure some of you are, um, some of you are really excited <laughs> because you've been inboxing me and I love you all so much. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. Um, that makes my heart so happy. And some others of you might be wondering what the fuck is going on and maybe feeling like I abandoned my fellow homeschool boss moms. Um, and I am just here to assure you that that's most definitely not the case and that um, I am still a homeschool boss mom and I will always be here to support fellow homeschool boss moms. Um, but I feel like what I was already talking about um, was not exclusive to homeschooling entrepreneurs. Um, well, I can identify with you like on a really deep level, yes. Um, but I had this well, let me back up and tell you the whole story. It started really like a few months ago. Um, I've been doing a mastermind with coach Rebecca Rubin, who I fucking love and encourage all of you to follow if you don't already. She's straight fire. <laughs> um, her content is amazing. Hey, Tamara. Thanks for joining. So... Um, I had literally kind of had one of those little fleeting thoughts, you know, that just shoots through your mind. And I'll be really honest, when I first started um, my coaching practice, this was a big question. Who do I serve? Who do I serve? Who do I serve? And it, it made sense at the time to work exclusively with homeschooling women. Um, but there was always this like, hmm, is that really the right aligned thing? And at first, yes, it was. Um, and... I, I want for this to be a lesson for all of us, right? To just follow our nudges, follow our intuition, and again, to like know and trust that you cannot fuck this up. That no matter what choice you make in the beginning of your business is never where you end. And so sometimes we are, I remember like hovering on that place of, you know, doubt and fear of like, if I didn't make the exact perfect choice the first time around that I was totally gonna fuck myself, you know, that I was gonna do it wrong and that was gonna be like catastrophic. And it's just not, it's just not how it works. You get to evolve and you get to grow and you get to pivot and you get to shift. Um, and it's all good, right? Like whatever feels good and the most highest aligned for you is what you should do, right? It's what you get to do. That's what, like, living this life is all about. Like, entrepreneurs, huh, we're not, we're not the status quo. We're not, like, going the mainstream route. If you're a homeschooler, you're not going the home, you're not, if you're spiritual, you're not going the mainstream route, right? But what I, what, what I really found for my own self was, um, that I craved, I have this message that I crave to deliver, right? And um, I had to like go through my own journey, my own transformation, and then I've been teaching my transformation to other women, and then everything just evolves as I deepen um, my own spirituality and deepen my own growth. Um, there's just more, and I just feel like I want to just continue to expand and grow at this like 
extremely rapid pace. Like I literally had like an Akashic um, records reading last year and the woman was like, yo, like your soul like wants to grow like crazy. She's like, everyone's soul comes here to grow, but yours is like next level wants to grow, right? And that's just totally true for me. I never like to stay in the same place very long. I always want to continue to expand and deepen and grow more, learn more. And not from like a, it's not enough place, but it's just that innate desire in me. And it's not right or wrong if, if you don't have the same desire. <laughs> um, I'm not saying that, I'm just saying this is how, how I operate. Um, and so, Anyways, I've been having these little nudges uh, to expand, but I wasn't ready. And um, let's see, oh, it was just a little over a week ago. I was in San Diego with my husband. Um, we go to this, um, it's called the Self-Realization Center. It has another name, but it's in Encinitas, California in the San Diego area. And it's just so beautiful. There's totally an energy vortex there. And you stand on this like bluff overlooking the ocean and the waves are just crashing in and everything is just super beautiful and serene around you. And the first time I went there last year, um, I got this very strong download. And then this time when we were there again, it was just so strong, so powerful, so clear, and it's it literally said, while te tears streaming down my face, you get to have it all. You get to have everything you want. And I feel like this is the message that I also want to share with all of you. I know that you guys have these Maybe they're just like those fleeting thoughts right now because you haven't even fully given yourself permission to say yes to them. Um, and so I just feel like it's my like soul's purpose to be here and let you know that you, you can fucking have that. Like you get to have that. Um, and anything that you want, anything that you desire, um, it doesn't matter what... Um, what kind of business or what kind of lifestyle, right? Like for me, it's a lifestyle. Like I have this whole lifestyle that I desire to have. And there was a part of me for many, many, many years that denied myself to even want that, right? Like I I think when I was younger, I, I knew like what I wanted. Um, I knew I wanted to have this big life and um, to have really nice things. Not and it, Don't get me wrong, it's not about the materialistic, but that shit just resonates for me. It always has. I, you, you guys, most of you don't know, but like I had, when I was in my early 20s, I was planning to become a fashion stylist and like go live in like LA and like style the celebrities. Um, I ended up getting pregnant, <laughs> um, but I was literally going to like fashion school and um, I used to be an athlete and I became a mom. And after like my third child, I kind of just quit that, you know? So I, I allowed motherhood to like be this reason that I said no to my these really important parts of myself. Um, and I have recently, after five children, <laughs> um, decided that I'm no longer allowing for that to be my story. And that I uh, am allowing myself to fully integrate all the parts of me. Um, there's a lot of you in here, hey Sarah, that don't, know my story about how to, well, oh, I don't know, it was over two years ago now that I was diagnosed with very severe adrenal fatigue. Um, it was after my fifth child was born and we were homeschooling and we, I've, I run another business with my husband and 
things were really, really chaotic in our life for a lot of years. And there was a lot of struggle. There was a lot of drama. There was a lot of scarcity. There was a lot of fear. And it was extremely stressful. There was a lot of perfectionism, a lot of over-controlling, a lot of um, trying to do it all alone and not ask for help and a lot of like ego bullshit from that perspective. Um, that really w was to my demise. And um, after kind of coming back from that, I have never felt more in my power. I have never felt more resourceful, more powerful, more abundant, more supported. Um, I literally, like the, the amount of support that I allow in my life is next level ridiculous. I've never could have imagined having the kind of support that we have right now. <laughs> like we have, we have a new Manny. <laughs> we have a household manager who does all kinds of projects and laundry and stuff for us. And we have like our bi-weekly deep cleaner. And I have my amazing online business manager, um, Maya Kristen. Um, she's known as Facebook on Facebook. And, um, we have an accountant, like we just, we have like a full team and we have, we work with multiple coaches, my husband and I, um, we just actually had like a two hour meeting today with a project manager, someone who like literally sat down with us and helped us create systems for our, uh, landscape construction business. So what I'm saying is, is <laughs> uh, I'm sharing all of this because it's like you get to have it all. You get to create the life that you want and you get to be fully fucking supported. And it doesn't mean that you have to like do more or do it all. Um, and so I wanted to share that with a larger audience of people because I started coming across, hey Cheryl, what's up love? Started coming across these women in my life who I was like, oh gosh, I know that what my what I teach could help you, but oh, I can't because you're not a homeschooling mom, you know? And so that just started to feel like not good. It not it felt not aligned. And and these were people that I would love, love to work with. So that is really why I felt like I had to expand my niche. Um and it just feels really good. It feels really powerful. I know that there were some friends of mine that follow me and that are inspired by the words that I say online, but also didn't feel like they could come to me because they weren't homeschooling moms. So I hope that that like makes sense. Um, so what happened was while we were also in San Diego, um, we were walking through all these little shops in Encinitas, and I just got this really powerful, um, like overwhelming emotional release, this feeling of, you know, um, that I always kind of felt like I, I didn't fit in fully and I didn't know where I fit in, right? Like I even still, like I'm like, I don't fit in fully with the homeschoolers because I have this business and two two businesses and I do all of these other things and I don't fit in fully with the entrepreneurs because I've got five kids and I homeschool. I don't resonate fully with a stay-at-home mom because I have businesses that I run. So, um, and then I'm also like, um, as some of you may not know this, but I'm like super crunchy, um, total hippie. I love all things like crystals and woo, you know, the universe and spirit and angels. And, um, I love tapping into my intuition and I love playing with herbs and I love playing with oils and I love having like organic food and I'm all about the, you know, paleo <laughs> lifestyle. Um, we, only you see like Chinese medicine doctors and chiropractors and um, like you go to like a holistic dentist and um, you know, we have a naturopath, like just all of these like very alternative lifestyle choices. I've had four home births with midwives. 
Um, I had one, my first son was a C-section. And then after that, I was like, fuck the hospital. I was having all my kids at home. It was, it was not a good experience for me at the hospital. For those of you that have had good experiences, amen and hallelujah to you. I'm not knocking that. I'm just saying that was my experience. And, um, I loved my home births. They were so empowering and (laughs) Cheryl, my spirit animal. I know I love you, Cheryl. That's why we work together. Um, and I'm just, um, I'm just this like super multifaceted human and we had chickens for a couple of years, um, at our property and or at, our, at our house. And, um, what else? I was an athlete for over 20 years. You guys, I used to play like super competitive softball. It was a pitcher. Um, and then I I mean, I even went, I had like a full scholarship to a small college in Florida. I did like a semester and a half there and I, I, um, injured my shoulder and then I was really homesick. So I came home and, um, played for fun for another four or five years and until I started having babies. And then after that, I started, um, jog, like I would, I started, I was a runner, so I would go and do all kinds of like half marathons and stuff. And then I hurt my knee. Um, so I'm trying to find my next new athleticism trait thing. I'm trying to get back into running. We'll see if I can get my knee back into the spirit of that. But my body sustained a lot of damage from having five children. So I'm still recovering and repairing that. But so I want to be able to just like, you know, um, really integrate all the parts of me and I want for you all to also do the same and not create stories about how you have to deny a certain part of yourself you know because you're a mom or because you're an entrepreneur because you're a homeschooler or or not a homeschooler or whatever right like it just doesn't even matter um but we all do this like we create these stories and we we like block off parts of ourselves and so this is like a way of me like expanding and like saying we all get to welcome all of our parts back in and nourish them and say yes to them more and see what like essentially like what juicy flow comes out of that right um it's just um it's really exciting when you own who you are and what you want and you do so unapologetically Um, it really makes you an energetic magnet, um, in your business, in your personal relationships, in every way. Um, so this is just me stepping into my power more fully so that I can serve you more fully. And I know that as Marianne Williamson so beautifully put it, as I let my light shine, it unconsciously allows others to do the same. And so that is really just my intention in stepping into this expanded niche is also allowing you, unconsciously allowing you to give yourself permission to do the same and not necessarily in your niche, although maybe that's it for you. But just more as in your life in general, right? And all the pieces of you, you get to incorporate them and bring them in and integrate and embody all of that, all of your amazingness, right? Because I know we're all so multifaceted. Um, But yeah, so that's it. That is the full story. Um, If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um... I am taking one-on-one clients. I have a few spots left for those. If anybody wants to jump on a call, you can message me. Um, And just a reminder, there'll be more information coming out on this. I have my next level mastermind that opens for enrollment. Um, I would say probably by next week, that should be ready to rock and roll. Um, 
so yeah, and if anybody's interested in that and wants more details, I have all the details like written out behind the scenes. I just don't have the sales page made yet. So I might even just open enrollment without the sales page yet because <laughs> I'm so excited about it. Um, but yeah, that's it. I love you all so much. I so appreciate all of your loving and kind words and I'm sending you all so, so much love. I'm really excited to also watch all of you step into your expansive flow. And I can't wait to see what your um, next level creations are going to be. Okay. All right. Talk later. Bye, ladies.